Hello everyone, I'm Steven Garner with Video for Real Estate Agents, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about aerial video. Okay, so today we're talking about aerial video, specifically aerial real estate video. Now, if you're a real estate agent, you'd have to literally be living under a rock not to hear about aerial video. Everywhere you go, they're talking about it. National conventions, the national news, Amazon, um, your local vendors, other agents, mortgage companies, title companies, everybody's talking about aerial video. Now, I've been using video in my business back since 2008, and about six months ago, I incorporated aerial video into my business. It's this experience of using video combined with aerial video that I want to talk to you about today. Now, much like anything else, whether you're riding a bike or driving a car, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. You do it right, you get where you need to go. You do it wrong, you fall, you scratch your knee, and you maybe end up in the hospital. I see people using aerial video and ending up in the hospital, if you will. Just the other day, I was sent a video from somebody right here in Phoenix. It was a three-minute video. They said, what do you think of this? Take a look. I'm watching it, and I'm literally scratching my eyes out because, again, it's another agent who just doesn't get it. It was a three-minute video, an aerial video, flying around the house, okay? Let me say that again. It was a three-minute video, an aerial video, flying around a house. Now, the house wasn't necessarily special. It wasn't unique. It, it was just a house. Three minutes. Take your real estate agent hat off and put your consumer hat on. Let's look at it from a different perspective. I have here a wrapper for a cliff bar. Imagine a three-minute video about the wrapper. It's turning. It's blue, it's green, there's white writing. Okay, I got that, right? You get that in the first few seconds, but it keeps going. Spinning, wow, amazing, right? Not really, huh? Why? Because you don't care about the wrapper. The wrapper's nothing. What you care about is what's inside the wrapper. Not just what's inside the wrapper, but what it looks like inside the wrapper, what it tastes like, smells like inside the wrapper. That's what aerial video is. Aerial video is used as to set an establishing shot, to show the consumer where you are relative, the house to the subdivision, the subdivision to the area, to the city, the house to a landmark. And then it's after the aerial video is done, you go inside the house, okay? You go inside the wrapper, right? That's what they care about. Guys, they're buying and selling houses. They care about the house. Yes, the area is important. Yes, you want to show them a footprint of the house if you can. Yes, you want to give them some context for where the house is. But ultimately, what they're looking for is the house, which means you got to bring them inside. You got to take them in. You got to show them the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the square feet, the stainless steel appliances, the curved staircase, the pool with water features, the pebble tech, the gazebo, the spa. You got to show them those things because those are the things they actually care about. So if you're going to use aerial video, understand that it is part of a bigger strategy. It is not the strategy. Now, Real estate agents are often guilty of running into things without really thinking about them because real estate agents like to adopt things. Early adoption is the name of the game in real estate, right? Uh, look at the QR code. So many agents ran into using the QR code without really understanding what a QR code was for, what it should do, or that it should actually be used to drive traffic to a website. Not just drive people to a home page, but a specific landing page or sales page on a website. They were just using them because everyone else was. That's called modeling. So many real estate agents model each other without understanding why they're doing it, or more importantly, why they shouldn't. If you've been to my hub marketing classes, you know that it's all about driving traffic to a website, okay? And you're using other tools or spokes to do that. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Active Rain, your sphere of influence, uh, email marketing, your signs, all of this is used to drive traffic to your website because that's where they're going to learn more about you. That's where they're going to search for homes. That's where they're going to watch your videos. That's where they're going to learn about your expertise, your niche, and how you can help without you having to sell yourself. Why? Because we hate to be sold to, right? Next to here on the back of our neck, stand up. Yet so many real estate agents want to sell. Top producer, President Circle, ABR, CRS, GRI, I'm the best, look at my team, we're fantastic, and it will make the consumer absolutely hate you. We do not like people that think that they are better than us, that they are fantastic. I like to talk in my classes about the girl. Every woman has a friend who thinks that she's it and talks about how great she is, and you know what? You hate her for it. You're like, girlfriend, just shut up. And that's how consumers look at real estate agents that do this. So. Aerial video is also used as a spoke. It's the main video that is the main point. 
okay? The aerial video sets the stage, sets the context, establishes where they are, and then you're going inside the house to show what the consumer really cares about. Bedrooms, bathrooms, square feet, amenities, different unique things about the house, the, you know, the floor, the marble, the wood floors, whatever it may be, okay? Now, let's talk about the legalities of real estate aerial video. Now, I've, you'll read tons of articles that'll say, oh, aerial video is illegal. And the reason that they do that is because, you know, flamboyant headlines make you read them, which obviously you have. In reality, aerial video is not illegal, commercial aerial video is illegal. What's commercial aerial video? Well, if I show up and I say, you know what, I'm gonna shoot your video for you and I want you to pay me $200. Well, guess what, that's illegal, okay? That is commercial. Now the FAA does not want everybody rushing into the space of aerial video. So to head that off, they don't want you to charge because they know a second you can charge, everybody's gonna run into it. Why don't they want you running into it? Because they don't want some 15 year old kid getting a Phantom or a Hexacopter or a Sinistar or whatever it may be, flying it up a thousand, two thousand feet right near a helicopter into the engine of a 747 that then crashes, okay? What they wanna do is they wanna limit that. So let's talk about how to use real estate video legally. The first thing is don't charge. The second thing is stay under 400 feet. The third thing is remain line of sight. Whenever I fly, I always have the agent next to me and I'll say, okay, it's your job to help me prevent from hitting a tree, power lines or whatever. I need you to let me know where I am. Why? Because I'm using FPV goggles. I can see what the camera is seeing, but not necessarily everything around me. Stay below 400 feet and please, stay away from airports. Not just major airports like Sky Harbor, but I'm talking about Falcon Field and little airports as well. That's not good. So to recap, aerial video is important. It is an important thing. But here's the thing. I say that video is the needle. It is the delivery method, okay? It's a medium, like the radio, like the TV, like what we're doing right now, it's a medium. What really matters is not necessarily the needle, but what's in the needle. So. Are your videos providing value? Are they educating and informing the consumer? Are they making them smarter? Is it something that a consumer would seek out and look for when they have a need? Because if the answer is no, don't make the video. No matter how cool it is, no matter how amazing it is, if an agent, or excuse me, if a consumer would not look for it, it's irrelevant. All you're doing is wasting your time. You're talking in a place where agents are gonna say, wow, that's amazing, that's fantastic, but consumers are never gonna see it because they don't care. I'm Stephen Garner with Video for Real Estate Agents, and if you have any questions at all about using aerial video or video in general in your business, go ahead and give me a call, fill out the form below, or check out videoforrealestateagents.com. Thanks.